96 News Now. Seems to have a suspect Moloti in custody for two days. Suspect in killing of two children in Kikui remain in custody. This year intensifies a hunt for Nyamira teacher killers. With Herman Kamareki. Good afternoon. We begin from a developing story where David Mutai, who is the suspect of swim swapping, uh, or rather will remain in custody for two days pending ruling on bail. That's according to a Kiambu court. It is that the Kiambu court has ruled that David Mutai, who is the suspect of the Muloti swim swap, suspect will remain in custody for two days pending the ruling. On bail. That's a story you're following up, and we shall give you the update as we move on. Now, Mary Mukami, the suspect who was arrested on Sunday over the killing of two children that belongs to her, actually, she's the mother to the two children, will remain in custody for 14 days to pave way for investigations. According to investigating officer Paul Maroba, the mother remains to be the prime suspect in the murder of two minors after the collection of crucial documents. On Sunday, residents of Kerua woke up to Somba mood after a man attacked and killed two children aged seven and five. The mother of the kids was arrested as a suspect after she allegedly failed to raise alarm during the midnight incident. The information to me pata kutoka kwa mama ya watoto na baba ya watoto tumeenda na mama dia tusaidia kwa uchunguzi. Likuwa kwa kazi ye ni kuitu walitu na akakuta kitendo imetendeka. Rakini mama alikuwa kwa nyumba na ndi umeona tumemuchukua ndiyo tuende ya tusaidie na uchunguzi yo watoto wameuawa na kijana alikuwa amefungwa mikono harafu kichwa yake ikaingizwa kwa mbaketi iko na maji na hata msichana naye aliingizwa kwa kichwa kwa mbaketi ya maji in other stories, Nyamira DCI officers have intensified the hunt for the suspect behind the killing of a 47-year-old teacher who was, whose body was found in a nurse's house on Sunday. According to reports, the man went missing two days before his body was discovered decomposing in the house of the nurse. According to the lead DCI officer in Nyamira County, Paul Makonge, no suspect has been apprehended as he asked the nurse and the deceased girlfriend to surrender. This house belongs to a nurse. We have tried to trace her. She has switched over phones, but you're on the trail. We are asking her to report to any nearest police post or police station or any police officer for our own safety first and then for our investigations. I would rather think that is the best idea. We are also running for Zablon Kedara, who comes from the same area. We are from information that is also involved. We are asking that uh, this Zablon Kedara, whatever he is, for his friends, please. Let this boy surrender themselves to the police station. Once you do such a thing, once the members of public suspect you, specifically in this area, you risk your life. So we are looking for them, and that is the fact. In our way from Nyamira cases, over 250,000 families from Marsabit County are in dire need of food and other assortments, according to the National Disaster Management Authority. Speaking in Sololo during the food distribution exercise, Marsabit NDMA coordinator Mustafa Pakolo says the number is on the rise as the situation worsens. Marsabit County has experienced a drought for now five uh, consecutive seasons have failed, and we have a huge number of households that require humanitarian assistance. Currently, standing at 252,882 uh, people. These figures continue increasing and we are going to conduct another race assessment in, uh, on 17th of next. And we hope these numbers will go up by almost uh, another 50,000 to about 300,000 households because of the kind of situation we are in. And now to matters education, uh, the education's, uh, the country's education system is in confusion and we shall be seeking answers from the Ministry of Education. This is according to the National Assembly Minority Leader Opio Andai who says the stakeholders are in the dark about the fate of CBC graduates. He says there is also no clarity from President William Ruto's administration over the funding of public universities. There is a total lack of clarity at the Ministry of Education. Whether fees have gone up or not is not clear. The place of CBC graduates and what their exam means is not clear. Whether the government will continue funding public universities is not clear. With regard to school fees, we will follow up to ensure no child misses a place in high school, college or university because of lack of school fees. Speaking in Kisumu, the Ogunja Member of Parliament said Ruta's administration must ensure that they facilitate TSE to enable them hire jobless graduate teachers. We shall insist that the government employs 
all trained teachers in order to address the biting shortage of teachers in both primary and secondary schools. To this end, we expect to see adequate budgetary allocation to the Teacher Service Commission in the impending supplementary budget to enable it to absorb all the unemployed but trained teachers and have them deployed in schools during the first term of 2023. Now, over 500 members from the Mbakasi ranching farm who were left out when the land was allocated now want government intervention. The members have called on the government to investigate how the allocation was done, saying the process was a fraud and corrupt. Most of them from Gatindu South, Gedenguri and Kiamba, Kabete and Kekuyu, say the owners of the land who are elders have been sidelined. And I hope his administration is going to assist Mbakasi Ranching Company. This is to get a to to say, Due, come and ease of protect Nakwa Sababu to the Nunua or Kati, Yazamani Kabisana, Ukona in Kin Nature, too, Mutua Pate Pro. Tumepigua Vita, Nawale Wale Kuya Kombeleni, Wale Raji Le PS. And now away from that, let's look at my test with uh, the innocent kill- killings of uh, school children in uh, Kerry Valley. The NGO Council of Kenya has condemned the banditry attacks and any other forms of insecurity against innocent and peace-loving citizens of Kenya. Chairman Stephen Chaboy says the council has called on the government to deal firmly with the criminals terrorizing innocent citizens. This comes a day after school children were killed in Tort Kerry Valley in a suspected banditry attack. The council has called upon leaders to work together with the members of the public to identify the criminals threatening the peace of others. Now, to sum it up, the National Health Insurance Fund has dismissed rumors alleging that it has scrapped the free maternal health care program dubbed Linda Mama. Former President Uhuru Kenyatta introduced the initiative during his reign in a bid to improve access to and quality of maternal, newborn and child health care. This was a move towards the attainment of the Kenya's vision of 2030 and the Sustainable Development Agenda. In a statement, NHIF insisted that the program is still operational and that over 6 million women have benefited from it since its introduction. It is exactly 8 minutes past 1 and you are up to date on Hot 96. Follow us on Twitter.